You're just jealous and upset at the fact that a person could live in the dunya, see that it was all fake and nonsense, and turn back to Allah. You're upset about that fact. It bothers you. But some of you out there just want people to fight. Why is that? Why do you want people to hate each other? I just have a lot of respect and love for Dawah man, for Adam and Slim for doing the things, putting away their differences. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. I am just so proud a brother Imran, also known as Dawah Man Slim, of course he's a legend, and Adam Saleh, the, the, the title of this video speaks for itself. The thumbnail of this video speaks for itself. There is so much respect that needs to be given to all three of these people, and specifically Adam and Slim, because they are so openly willing to reach out to other people that they might have had problems or feuds with. You see, but the real issue is that a lot of you guys out there don't want them to mend their issues. Some of you might even look at Dawah Man as a sellout for even talking to them. Some of you just like have this warped understanding and want brothers to fight amongst each other. My question is why? Why do you want people to fight between each other? You see, the first time brothers fought amongst each other was Habil and Kabil. And what was the main issue? It was jealousy. It was jealousy. Yes, the issue is of a woman, so on and so forth, but it's jealousy. When we want brothers to fight amongst each other, it is because there is jealousy. But what is there to be jealous about? Are you jealous over the fact that Adam could have such a huge following and still find his way back to Islam? Because from the vibes that I get, there's a lot of people out there who want Adam to fail. And that's the video right here. You can go check that out too. But I mean that. I'm, I feel like, and, and right now, forget, right now I've read a comment where Adam's going to be in the bottom of the hellfire. Yeah. And you're probably going to be there first before he gets there. What makes you think that you could say that to someone? What makes you think that that's okay? How did it feel when I said that back to you? That you're going to be in the lowest hell? How? How is it that we're taking the rulings upon ourselves to see other people fail? It's like we are enjoying him failing. You're just jealous and upset at the fact that a person could live in the dunya, see that it was all fake and nonsense, and turn back to Allah. You're upset about that fact. It bothers you. It bothers you to see me with tattoos and be successful in turning back to Allah. It bothers you. But seeing how Brother Imran held it down, and I'll do a separate video about my personal beef with him and my own struggles I've had with Imran. I'll do that in a separate video, inshallah, which you'll see um, maybe tomorrow or something. I almost didn't make a video, guys. If you're following, then you know I make daily videos on this channel, and I almost didn't make it today. I had to go pick up a, a gift for a friend. Uh, he helped me out a lot, and I wanted to get him a gift because it causes more love between each other. The Messenger also taught us that. Why is it so, like, I, I, the reason I respect Adam and Slim is because they're like, hang on a second, we just cleared up the air with Ali. Okay, now let's clear up the way, air with Dawa man. Why not? It feels good to clear up the air, doesn't it? It feels good to realize that, man, we just had a misunderstanding. It's a good feeling. But some of you out there just want people to fight. Why is that? Why do you want people to hate each other? Why can't they all just live together in harmony? That's the dream. That's the goal. When people pick us apart in the media and call us terrorists and stuff like that, they don't, they don't discriminate amongst us, guys. They hate us all. They literally hate us all. But we're here discriminating against people, and that's wrong. I just have, I just have a lot of respect and love for Dawah Man, for Adam and Slim for doing the things, putting away their differences. I know amongst you, the corrupted, the disease and the heart-filled people will say they're doing it for views. They're doing it for attention. They're doing it for more podcast listeners. I don't know the metrics for podcasts. Some of you are thinking that way. And if you are thinking that way, ask yourself, why? Why are you thinking that way? Why is it that you have fun in assuming the worst in someone? Why is that? Why do you enjoy tearing people down? Why is that? In the video I made about Mr. Uh, what 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 which is linked right here so many of you are getting at me sq how can you defend this fraudster how could you defend this scammer i'm gonna make a separate video about that inshallah how could you defend him my question to you is why are you so excited to call him a fraudster 
Why are you so excited to call him a scammer? Why are you so excited about that? Irrespective if he is one or not. Like I said, there's going to be a follow-up separate video to that. But why are you so excited to see someone fail? Where is the da'wah? Where is the invite? Where is the excitement to help a person come to the correct path? It's like you would have seen Umar bin Khattab and you would have written him off. You would have seen Khalid bin Walid, you would have written him off. Why is that? Why are you so excited to deem people, you know, damn people? You want them to just go for damnation. You just want them to be deemed in the hellfire. Why is that? Are these people not our Muslim brothers and sisters? Like, come on now. There, was no <laughs> there were no sisters, just Muslim brothers, mashallah. But why are you so excited? Five, five minutes? Okay, we're about to end this video right now. Why are you so excited to see people fail? Why are you so excited to call people and cast them down and say, Oh, I've unsubscribed from them a long time. Why did I need to know that? Why do we need to know that? Whatever happened to the narration of the Messenger وسلم, encouraging us to remain silent if we have nothing good to say about someone? What happened to these things? What's, what's going on with us? I'm actually happy. I'm happy that this is happening. Because you see, Adam, Adam Saleh is a microcosm for a lot of the Muslim youth out there who want to turn back to Allah, but you and I have made it too difficult for them. Ask yourself, are your comments, imagine Adam Saleh views everything that we do. Imagine that, right? Even though I'm a nobody. Someone was just like, SQ, you're always mentioning these people in your videos. They don't even know who you are, you clout chaser. It doesn't matter if they know who I am. I know who they are. SQ, you're just trying to be on their podcast. I, 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 I am. I do. I do want to be on their podcast. Why not? I believe I could give them value. I believe with my company that they could gain some benefit. Yeah, I do want them. I do. I do want their attention. Why not? This video is not for their attention, but I do want that. What's wrong with that? Why is that? Why am I in the wrong for? Anyways, ask yourself, imagine if Adam Saleh Slim, they were viewing this video or the other videos and they were reading the comments, which they do because they're human beings. They know how to read. Iqra, right? First words of the Quran. They know how to read. We know how to read. Man, do you not worry if your words are hurting a person? Do you not worry about that? I worry about that. I worry that someone's going to read my words and it's going to be written against me. Imagine you calling him a bad word, a bad name. I'm not going to even talk about Mr. What What a. I'm not going to even talk about him. Leave him alone. Separate video about that. Imagine he reads this. He's insulted. He's insulted. He is the victim. You are the culprit typer out there. And you are one dua away. One dua away of asking Allah to destroy you away from you being destroyed. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us? What does the Messenger Sallallahu teach us about the one who is oppressed? That there is no veil between the dua of someone who is oppressed. You don't think that with your nasty comments to people, whether that be me, Adam, Dawa Man, whoever, Mr. Watwada, whoever, you don't think your nasty comments warrant a person to feel oppressed? You don't think your nasty comment warrants people to make dua against you? Fear Allah. Fear Allah for the day that you're going to meet face to face with that person that you're slandering online and you will be bankrupt on that day. Woo! Can't wait. Can't wait to see that because you're not taking warning to this. I don't want to see you fail. I don't want to see you fail and fall. I want you to be successful. But for messages like this, you're not watching the full video, you just want to jump to conclusions, you're digging your own grave. Ask yourself, the Adam Salis of the world, meaning those who are in the dunya but they want to turn back, are you pushing them away from the deen or are you pulling them in? Which one is it? Is your comment that you're going to leave on this video going to push someone away further from the Islam or is it going to pull them in? You see, these videos are designed to pull people in. If you want to push someone out and say something nasty, start your own YouTube channel. Start your own YouTube channel and start pushing people away over there. But on this channel, it's designed to pull people in. It's designed to give people the benefit of the doubt. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do with my life. That's what my legacy wants to be. This is my Salatika Jariya. When I'm dead, I want these videos to live on forever, giving the Adam Salis of the world hope that they can turn back to Allah. Because if a, if a slave, a trash person such as myself 
can be someone who has tried their best to turn back to Allah and Allah has honored them just a little bit, then I believe anyone, which are way better than me, Adam Slim, everyone who watches this is way better than me, they can turn back to Allah as well. So instead of condemning people, make dua for them, sincerely make dua for them. Not fake dua, like I'm talking about when you make dua for yourself, when you're waking up for the hajjah for yourself, make dua for others too, if you're genuinely sincere. Otherwise, this is all you're doing right now and it's getting kind of annoying. But I just had to keep it 100 with you guys as always. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, hit any of these videos right here. One of his best for viewers. And one is a most recent video. Click either one. They're pretty good. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, keep it that way. I think it's for the best. Until next time, I'm out.